Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I will be showing you how you can use git stash command and why we use git stash in our daily life as a coder. Okay, so let me start. But before that, I just need to show you this is the playlist of complete GitHub basic to advanced. You can explore this. You can easily navigate to this and go through this. It is very, very important videos what are necessary for a developer. I made it. You can check it out and message me if you have any doubt. So let's go to the video and let me explain. First of all, I have two things. One is the .git folder and text file dot git folder is used to track it it is generated by git automatically and this text text is the file where i will be doing all the changes to demonstrate git stash okay why we use it let me open the terminal here the this is the commands which i will be using in the windows is exactly same for the linux and the mac so you can use it there also so let me first show you git branch i have three branches one is the master one is the test and the test two the code right now what is written in the text file whatever the text is written that is similar in three branches assume that code is written in this text file okay so why we need this stash first question stash is needed in a very important situation let me show you that if i will do some changes here like doing some changes i have written and after that what i'll do i'll do git status it is showing some changes to me but this assume this the code what i have written right now is in a half way like it is not completed or the feature what i am developing right now is not fully completed so i cannot commit a message right now but in future when this is completely done i can push it to the master branch or a test branch okay so what i can do right now is to use a command which is built by the git itself that is git stash does is basically it will have all those changes what you made and save it in the like in that place in the branch where you are right now okay and you can easily take it out from it okay you can easily at any time you can go there and take it out but what people do is basically when they try to check out in the middle like if i do git checkout master then the changes itself will go to that like we have not done any changes in the master but if i do git checkout master it is saying it is switched but this text is modified so if i write git status you can see in the master we have not changed anything but still it is showing me this is the like changes you have done but we have not done anything because this is an error you should not do so let me again check out to test to where we were previously then it we will do git status it will showing that this file is changed here you have to write git stash save or the same command is git stash both the things work similar when you do git stash what is it does basically is that it will save the git stash means whatever the changes you have it will save it to git stash if i'll do git stash minus minus list if i'll do git stash list it is showing me that one changes or one commit is right now stashed so how i can get it back like i have to get it back after some time now so how i can get it back you can easily get it back by just writing git stash pop if i do this again you can see my changes is here okay so if i do git stash list you can see right now it is showing nothing but assume i need to store it and i have to check out to my master branch and do some changes so what i can do similarly you can do git stash it will save it you can easily check out now it will not show now it will not show that previous message if i do git check out master you can see it is only showing that switch to master but if i do git status right now it is showing nothing is changed now you can do the work whatever work you have here you can do it then easily you can go to your test branch and git pop but if i need to apply in test branch there are two branches uh, if i show you one is the test one is test two one is master master is the default branch assume the test two code what we saved or we stashed in test two i need to apply that in test how i can do it so first of all i will check out to the test branch then what i'll do i'll write git stash apply see now the changes what i pushed in the test two came here automatically if i do git status you can see it is showing that changes and what we have written in that test two branch is showing here doing some changes okay it's very easy and very helpful in some scenarios so now if i you write git stash list it is showing that same commit here again now you can add any changes commit any changes and push it to your remote repository so if this video is helpful please like the video share with your friend and subscribe the channel that's all for today guys thank you for watching